guys, how's it going? If you've already clicked the link to this video, you know that you are already a Discord user. A lot of people use Discord for basically streaming their gameplay to their friends or maybe just sharing their screen with a lot of people in the video calls option. For that, Discord is great. Unfortunately, Discord does run on Windows and both Discord and Windows have issues of their own. So if you are a Discord user and you're facing issues with screen sharing, this video is for you. This is one from Guiding Dick and in today's video, I'll show you multiple ways in which you can easily fix the screen sharing issues on your Discord application. So without wasting any time, let's jump right into it. All right, so first thing that you can do is run Discord as an administrator. A lot of times what happens is that Discord does not have the relevant permissions that it requires to basically allow seamless screen sharing. And this can be easily resolved if you run Discord as an administrator. To open Discord with administrative privileges, just right click on the Discord app icon and select run as administrator from the resulting menu. If this fixes your issue, you can also configure the Discord shortcut to always launch with administrative rights. To do that, Select the shortcut and press Alt plus Enter to open its properties. Now, navigate to the shortcut tab and click on Advanced. Now, check the box next to Run as Administrator and then click on OK. Alright, the next thing to note is that whatever screen or application you're sharing has to be in windowed mode. Yes, Discord can function for full screen apps, but that is usually buggy. However, if the application that you're sharing is in a windowed mode, it should work seamlessly. So if the game or program that you're trying to present is in the full screen mode, viewers might see a black screen in the Discord app. As such, just try switching the app to windowed mode and see if the screen sharing works now. All right, now if Discord fails to detect whatever app or game that you're running, there's a possibility that it might not be able to present the same to well, other people in your call. The solution to that is very simple. Just add the game or the application to your Discord's activity status. To do that, launch the Discord app on your PC and click on the gear icon next to your username to open settings. Now, use the left pane to navigate to activity settings. If Discord hasn't detected your program, you'll see no game detected. Click on add and use the drop down menu to choose the game or application you want to share. Then click on add game. All right, so next up, well, latest technologies are great, but they're usually full of bugs. Discord also has some of the latest technologies, but most of them could be a resulting factor for basically not allowing your screen to be shared properly on Discord. So the easiest solution is to just turn it off. To do that, launch the Discord app on your PC and click on the gear icon in the bottom left to open settings. Now switch to the voice and video tab and scroll all the way down to screen share section. Disable the toggle next to use our latest technology to capture your screen option. Hopefully things work better now. Alright, now a lot of folks have actually said that you can disable your hardware acceleration on Discord to basically ensure that screen sharing works. What happens is that some graphic intensive tasks on your system are basically divided equally between your CPU and GPU. But if your GPU is old enough, this hardware acceleration mode can basically come as a problematic factor. So yeah, you can just turn it off. To do that, open the Discord app and open settings. Now switch to the voice and video tab and locate the H.264 hardware acceleration option and then turn it off. Okay, so this next step might sound a little bit too simple, but chances are you have probably not thought about it. Now there is a possibility that you're just running an older version of Discord that is well buggy or is it compatible with the latest version of Windows that you're running. In short, just update to the latest version of Discord and hopefully that should solve your problem. Speaking of update, here's the last thing that you can try. If updating does not fix it, it then might be a problem with the overall installation of your Discord as a whole. So the best thing to do in that kind of a scenario is to start from scratch. Uninstall the program completely and install Discord once again. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vam from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.